this session, we're going to look at how to do a cash return within Cash Haven. Okay, so let me launch Cash Haven here. And if we're launching it uh, from within cash, the Cash Haven application itself, uh, it doesn't ask you to verify yourself because you've done that in the login. But if you're coming in from Office Haven, then you will need to verify yourself. And you'll need to be a group manager uh, to, to be able to uh, run Cash Haven. Okay, to at least mail, make sales for others. So let me enter in the password. There we go, we're now logged in. And we have a number of different users uh, under the list here within our group that, uh, that I can make sales for. Now say, for example, uh, a person like uh, Jonathan Bell comes along and he wants to uh, to make a sale. As soon as I choose his uh, name under the list, you'll see that it's hit, you can see his balance, so he's got some money available to him. If I come and have a look, on, click on the button for transactions, we'll see any previous transactions here. And as you can see, there are no transactions currently. He hasn't bought anything uh, cashlessly um, uh, through, through Cash Haven. When I click back on uh, register, you'll notice that the window shrinks back to its previous size. Now, it, there's no reason why you can't type anything you want into the description and into the number field uh, for the sale. But within the uh, group settings within uh, Window Database, you're actually able to add different products as, uh, as transactions. The way that they're displayed in the transaction is it's got a description and then a price at the end in square brackets. So if I come down here and choose something like a memory stick for $13, you'll notice that it goes and puts the description up the top here and the amount, which in this case is $13, are down into the value down here. Now again, there's no reason why we can't change those just in case they're on discount or something like that. Uh, you can change that value if you want. If you go and click on clear, it'll just get rid of the leftmost value. If we click on clear all, it'll wipe the whole value. So let me go back off and back on again to the memory stick. Okay, now I'll quickly make a sale. Now we've seen this before in making a sale that you can uh, that you need to have the password uh, of the person themselves to be able to make the sale. So let me put that in. Uh, this is them entering their password. And now if we click on transactions, you can see the uh, down here, it's the sale by one user to another user ID, which is the, the Jonathan Bell. We can see the date and time down there. We can say that it, see that it was a sale and we can see what the description was for. Now in this circumstance, we're going to actually uh, have a return. Say for example, the memory stick uh, uh, wasn't the right type, the person didn't need it, or what, whatever the reason may be, they want to return uh, that particular product and get their value back. Because you can see their balance has now been reduced by the amount of that, um, of that sale. So what we do, just like before, um, you can choose it from the list, you can change the, uh, the text if you want to, um, otherwise, let me just come off and then back on. Um, and then now, instead of clicking on the sale button, I'll click on the return button. Again, we need to put in the person's password, so let me just put this in here. And go OK. And what it's done is it's given now their, their balance back to what it was previously. Um, and if I click on transactions here and expand this out, you can see we still have the original sale down the bottom here, but now we have the return above it, uh, in this case for exactly the same amount and the same description. So that's how you uh, return items uh, within um, uh, within Cash Haven. Now it's not possible uh, to return an item uh, for yourself. So if you choose your own, your own name under the list and ask it to do a return, it will come back and complain and say you can't return items yourself. Otherwise, potentially you could go and uh, add money to your, your quota unnecessarily. Okay, so that's how we uh, do a return within Cash Haven. I hope you find that useful. Thank you and goodbye.